Welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Professor Raju Shekhar. Today is a very important topic because it has been asked uh, by many uh, subscribers. They are asking me to talk about postdoc. What is postdoc and where we, do we need to apply? What do they really do? And uh, they, they have a lot of doubt about that. So today we will see what is a postdoc? Is it a degree? Where can we apply for postdoc? What does the postdoc do? How long are postdoc positions? How are postdocs funded? So you will get idea about all these things. You watch the entire video. Do not skip. Then you don't understand. And I'll be covering all these six phenomena one by one. First, what is a postdoc? The postdoc is a position normally people do after completing the PhD. See, it's a research position. Normally, it may range from three years to five years and they work under a professor. A professor, he must be uh, running a laboratory or he may be doing some kind of uh, very important research and he will not have only one person under him. He may have many people, many a group of researchers will be there. So the postdoc will join in that particular team and he will work under them. He will work with them and sometime he may work on the predefined problems. It will be there already. He will go and extend it. How, how do they normally offer postdoc? How do they select? It is based on the PhD area you have done. Assume that you did you worked on a particular field in science and you worked on nanotechnology. So as a postdoc, you would go to the other professor who is doing advanced research in nanotechnology. And if you based on your field and if the both your field as well as that professor feels suits, then he may recruit you as a postdoc. So you will work independently, but under his mentorship. So postdoc, generally the position, you would have a complete freedom to work on your own with the guidance of mentor. See, uh, for the postdoc, we don't call it as a guide. Instead, they are called as a, uh, what do you call a mentor and uh, the our principal investigator. See, the postdoc may happen in uh, different ways. See, you may work on a specific funded project. See, uh, for example, normally people do postdoc in foreign universities. That particular university or that particular professor may run a, a very big funded project. So, in that project, he may work, he may need many people to work on it in the, in the what you call, after PhD level. So, he may recruit all of them. Then each of them will work in different dimension. He is the one who would synthesize everything. He will make it as a final product. So, he will tell, he will exactly guide you what are you supposed to do. But why it, why the postdoc cannot be done by a normal student? Because you need to have a, some research experience. So, when you have completed your PhD, already you have done some research. So, when you go there, your uh, knowledge in the PhD will help them to uh, quickly advance in their research. That's why they, they recruit postdocs. And can the postdoc work without any professor, without any guidance? No, definitely not. Because postdoc position is never offered as independent position. Definitely you have to work under a particular mentor, mentor or maybe it can be, you, you can work in, in institutions or you can work in industry also. But definitely you will work under the mentorship of somebody. And uh, another thing, what will they do? How long it will be there? Or where will they work? See, generally it may range from three years to five years. Say, for example, if you take Canada and the maximum the postdoc positions are accepted almost five years. Uh, and after that, you know, you can be a postdoc only for five years. After that, you can't be a postdoc. But whereas in US, there is no limit. You can be uh, what do you call, you can be a postdoc for long years. But actually, the postdoc is a position where you experience, you, you gain more experience in your research and you would, what do you call, you will become a better researcher before you join as a full-time uh, teacher, you know, professor. And these research experience will help you a lot because within PhD, you will, you will could have got something, but that may not be sufficient. That's why when you work under the uh, research professors, uh, as a postdoc, you could have gained more experience. And what do they normally, uh, the postdoc, what do they do? That's what, they do research under a, uh, research professor, that time they may work on a funded project, they may write their own uh, uh, project also under the uh, mentorship of the professor and they may work and uh, create, you know, find out results, they may publish a lot of research papers, they may write books, they may even file a patent and all these things will happen. See, publishing research paper, writing a project 
and one more important thing the postdoc what will they do even they would assist the doctoral scholars graduates undergrad postgrad students also they will assist because under that particular professor there may be many students will be working you know, undergrad students postgrad and phd scholars so the postdoc generally they will give some assistant initial level assistant to these student before they meet the professors even sometime the professor may guide uh, ask the postdoc to completely take care of the undergraduate student because undergrad will do a norm basic level project for that the phd professors the the principal investigator no the original uh, professor may not require to spend a lot of time on them instead he can spend on to somebody else who is uh, doing phd or a postdocs he, he may try to bring out new idea that's the reason they will give these kind of uh, option to the postdoc they'll guide them because since they already have the experience of complete you know uh, doing the research so their research will be really helpful to the uh, junior that's undergrad student sometime post graduate graduate students also but these are not a fixed one some professors may allow them to guide the juniors somebody they may not allow they will ask them only work on the specified problem it depends upon the pi pi means principal investigator of the project and second thing depends upon the institution institution may have a different policy depends upon the industry industry also may have a separate policy so accordingly the the postdoc will do the work differently got it and uh, who will offer the postdoc position obviously it's a institutions generally universities who is having uh, a big laboratories no research laboratories they'll do the postdoc will never involve any administrative work it will be only pure research come 100% they'll only do research they don't do anything they don't teach they don't do anything teaching will be there optional but majority focus hardcore research will be there that means very advanced level research and they'll they'll go very deep into the research and they'll do that thing and the industry also will have a postdoc position say for example you take automobile industry a, a person who got a phd in automobile uh, field he may work in the research laboratory of the automobile companies he will work there as a postdoc he would work in the particular uh, what do you call it? Uh, innovate innovate innovation laboratory they design an innovation laboratory he may bring out new designs he will work there maybe 2 to 3 years 5 years but Uh, after that he may go for the full time position then why people do post doc what is the necessity can't they get the job after the phd they can get but when somebody who has completed post doc he will have a complete knowledge about the research then compared to the original only phd that's the reason second thing after completing the post doc they will become a highly efficient researcher they will be immediately absorbed by the institutions because of their high research skill because after phd they they have gained a lot of experience number one they could have got more publication they could have got more knowledge on writing research papers writing projects and you know guiding the undergrad and postgrad students so by this time everybody will be ready to be a full time professors you no know, assistant professors they can apply that's why they are given a first preference compared to only phd's when both of the people are applying to the job assume one is with only phd another person phd with postdoc only the postdoc will be selected the reason is his rich experience in research and other other knowledge and another thing why this postdoc is essential as already told you that because of experience the knowledge exposure and another important thing most of the postdoc the people do in the other you know, foreign universities they'll get a, a wonderful exposure to the latest technologies latest advancements so when they come with that latest advancement to the academics they'll be able to deliver a better uh, what you call uh, uh, the teaching the better guidance they'll be able to do that's why postdoc is always since some universities postdoc is compulsory to apply for a, what you call a teaching full time uh, position and will the postdoc can be a permanent job no definitely not that's what i already told you in in canada it can be 5 years or sometime in india also 3 to 5 years after that you can't continue your postdoc you have to go to the job so you you it is not a permanent job it is only the see assume that it is kind of internship you no know, uh, doing the intern training about the research in the same way it is a high level kind of internship you work under the professor you learn everything then you go to the what do you call institution to become a professor so it is not a complete uh, 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 full time job you can hold this post of question all life life long and will there be two three four post doc yes you can do see one post doc for example ranges to two to three years you can complete that postdoc because after that after the particular project is over also the postdoc will be over 
so you can apply to the other university to, to, to other professors who are working in similar area you can do the another postdoc that's why some people they do even two to three postdoc also because each postdoc may have two to three years so two to three postdoc also they may do to get more experience after that you know they'll join as an institution or industry as a, a full-time employee and there is no limit that you have to do only one or two but minimum one is very nice and if you can do more than one and you will get really very good exposure than the other other person and what are the uh, uh, how will they get salary yeah normally postdocs will get stipend stipend will be uh, you know very uh, competitive if you take uh, us uh, postdocs and all they used to get 30000 dollars to 40000 uh, dollars in a year they'll get as a stipend with all the other uh, other facilities so it will be a very, really a very good uh, uh, stipend you will get during the postdoc and uh, but you can't be comfortable with only that thing you can't continue so by the time you get completed train then you should try for the full track position that is full time teaching position or industry position you should you, you should try because sometime the postdoc salary will be very attractive not a salary stipend will be very attractive so the people they think that they'll they want to stay stick on to that so that will never work then they should change to the what you call full time track after uh, what you call three to four years and uh, uh, how long that's what I already told you three to five years and uh, how to apply for the postdoc what are the uh, things they they need to do the postdoc apply see very simple you can't apply just like to any other universities first thing you need to apply only to the subject specific departments for see say for example humanities you work there is humanities is a very big field again engineering very field say even if you take electronics engineering electronics engineering will be a very big very big field in that thing which is your specific area which particular university uh, departments are doing uh, high quality research or advanced research on that particular thing whether that particular professor has a vacancy for a postdoc position then you need to follow them um, you know, probably through regularly following up all the experts and you need to write to them you have to write a mail to them that you are a phd in this particular area you would like to work as a postdoc under your guidance then for that you need to have some valid proof that you have done a quality research uh, for that when you write to an international university professors you should tell that i am so and so i worked on this area these are my publications if you have a strong publications with with your phd degree then they will consider they'll check whether your interest and their interest what you call, uh, both interest are similar if it is similar then they may invite you to work under them as a postdoc and some universities they'll ask you like a normal call will be there like phd uh, they'll advertise for the postdoc position you can see that then you can apply generally for the postdoc you need to first get the what you call acceptance from the uh, principal uh, investigator that's what a laboratory means so I assume that you are working for a in a laboratory you need to get permission from that particular laboratory head that's what the senior professor who is who will be the principal investigator of that particular laboratory then you should get his permission he should accept you as a uh, candidate then next thing if, they, if it's an open position again you need to check whether the for your field uh, the open positions are available then they may select then they they may attach to you some some other senior professors so this is what you need to do and uh, and will the last one will the postdoc get any degree like phd no postdocs they don't get any degree they don't get any kind of thing but simply they will get kind of certification you no know, the, the professor will say that he worked under me for this project for these so and so years and that way they they may give certificate but there is no professional degree will never be awarded for the postdoc it's a kind of position but obviously when you say a particular person name and you say that you worked in this particular lab that will have a real edge in when you get into the legal full time position i i hope i have clearly explained all the postdoc and everything and uh, if you find this video is useful please kindly share to the friends let them get benefited and the last one where do you apply for this subject specific thing in the future let me uh, recommend certain universities and other thing based on the subject in the future till then bye i'll, I'll catch you in the next video bye bye